Hit it. I'm Mac. This is Scott. And you came in very excited about something this morning, Scott. I did, I did. So much so that we had to set up the camera and this table. And uh, yes. I've seen what you're excited about, but I have no idea why you're excited about it. I'll tell you why I'm excited. I often go to garage sales, like a bunch of people, garage sales, estate sales, and buy tools, hand tools. You can always find uh, really good hand, sometimes really good hand tools. Um, a lot of times, they will look like this. That's a rust bucket find. I'm gonna soak that in acid or something like that and try to get that. This is not a premium tool by any stretch of the imagination, but it's gonna be fun to kind of, you know, fix up. So those are cool. I don't even know what brand it is. It doesn't have a name on it, but you know, sometimes you can get something like that super cheap, five bucks I think I paid for that. And I could probably get it working, so it'll, you know, do something. So that's what you were excited that's about? That's not what I'm oh, excited okay, about. Okay. All right. And then oftentimes, these are, you can find one of these in uh, a lot of garage sales. This is a Stanley Bailey number four, and they're, this is the probably the most common thing as far as hand planes or whatever. And I bought this at a garage sale 20 years ago and I've used it to plane many, many doors. This is my favorite pl hand plane that I own. Um, and, but it, and it's really nice, and you can find a lot of those. Those are really good um, to find. Sometimes you find unusual things like this. This is a uh, mortise marker, marking gauge. And this I got really, really cheap. I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for it. I don't even know how old it is. It's got a, the, the craftsman marks on it here where he stamped his tool. But this little screw is broken. It's very difficult to replace. I can't figure out what the threads are on that, but it's actually workable. And I haven't used this one yet, but you can find cool stuff like that. Then you can find really weird stuff like this one. This is cool. Uh, it's a no-name brand. It just says made in USA. Somebody put their own handle on it, but in order to do that, they actually drilled a hole in it and then uh, set this countersunk, an actual screw that goes all the way through. So they drilled a hole in their plane. Um, I, I, I haven't used this one yet. I haven't gotten it all fixed up, but I started and didn't get really far. And then the reason that I was really, really excited I found an unmarked, unknown plane. Bailey's, Stanley's are really, really popular. People will buy them if they say Bailey, Stanley on them. And this one doesn't. But it felt so nice and it's so smooth and it's, it, I don't know, it just steamed. I was just like, that's really nice. But I bought it on the second day of a estate sale and it was half price. I think I paid $40 for this. Um, and it does say Stanley right there, but a lot of people say that, that this blade might have been replaced. But here, this is actually, I believe, it's hard to find information enough, but I think this is a Stanley Type 4, which is the fourth that they made. It was made in the 1800s, late 1800s, and it's complete. It's there's no lateral adjustment on it, so you have to actually skew the blade by hand. And I think that this is 130 years old, maybe, in pr beautiful condition. There's just a little bit of crack here, um, but I think uh, that this is really awesome. Well, I'm going to show you some details of it as to why I think it's a number four, or a type four, not a number four. Um, can't really tell much by this. Where's that screwdriver? But this only has these two side pieces here. And let me show you. Underneath the frog here is where I found out what number it is. It's actually the same length as my number four. And it's a little bit thinner, so that threw me off, and I was looking for what it was. But 
So it has the number four print, print stamped in it right here. And then it has an I-beam for where the, the frog sets. They call that I-beam I or something. I just found out about this plane this weekend. Let me show you one other thing real quick. It's got a little bead going around the bottom of the knob here. And it has a little bit of damage. Uh, that's the only real damage right there is other than just wear and tear. There's a little couple of cracks in that knob. Now the last thing, it actually inside here is the only thing that says other than that blade which could have been replaced. Inside this it says Bailey. I can't even read it, but what is that? Bailey Patton 1867. Yep, and so I think that's all the hallmarks of a Bailey Type 4. It was made in the late 1800s. And I think I got it for $40 at a garage sale because it doesn't have Stanley stamped on it in the obvious places. So yeah, that's what I was really excited about this morning. Cool. And uh, so keep an eye out at those garage sales. You might find something really cool that uh, you can pick up for fairly cheap. Very nice. Thanks for bringing these. Let's, uh, let's make some wood curls. Isn't that a weird one? Yeah. I haven't, I haven't sharpened it, so um, you want to give it a shot and see if it'll take a curl like as is straight out of the garage sale? Yes. Because I have not sharpened this. I, I, it'd be cool. All right, let's do that. Let's check it out. Took a little longer messing around with it than I thought, because uh, the knob's backwards, but I think I got it set so that it'll take a pretty good shaving at this point. Oop. There's some dings in the blade. If it cuts any finer than that, it looks like angel hair. Like, But that's thin, and I haven't even sharpened it yet. I think this is gonna be a really nice little plane. What do you think? Isn't this, does this, did you see that mark? Yeah, that's the, um, actually I got these both at the same sale. It's, it's the craftsman, he just stamped his name in them to. W. Al w. Allen or Lan, A-L-L-A-N. If anybody knows about that furniture maker, uh, I'd love to see a picture. Uh, w. A-L-L-A-N. Cool. Yeah, isn't that cool? That was really cool. So anyways, just wanted to share that with everybody and thought that would be a cool thing to show. Yeah, we should, um, we should bring more of your stuff. <laughs>